Hello and welcome to Greater Talks. Please don't forget to like, comment and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Zahara has been dealing with financial issues since 2018 and things are getting serious now as the Loliwe hitmaker might lose her home. The singer took to social media and accused DJs Boo and TK Nleza of exploiting her over her debut album Loliwe. Well, DJs Boo has since responded to Zahara in an interview claiming that the singer is a liar and that he has always been there for her going as far as paying for her hospital bills when she was hospitalized for an alcohol-related liver issue. I deserve to hear the story from the horse's mouth, and I didn't want to share this. I have just keep quiet the whole time and, 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 and let people criticize me, and, and they're allowed to because they are mm. friends, of course. They need to know what's going on. Why did you guys do, two, do one, two, three, and four? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? And we are going to look through my man and tell us this one. I think you deserve, you owe me an apology, and we need to do another collaboration and make music together. I wish you nothing but the best. I love you with all my heart. I was there when nobody was there for you. I was there when people criticized you. I was there when, when and not only I, there's a lot of us who were there for you. Even in, in, in your trials and tribulations that I don't want to share that much now, who was by your bedside in those hospitals? Who was helping you pay those bills? Who was there all the way till today? You own your own publishing. Maybe some of the struggles that other artists go through, you don't know. But we... People have since taken to social media to share their opinions, with some believing that DJ Boo is lying, accusing him of exploiting Zahara by giving her a bad contract at the start of her career. Others, however, including controversial media personality Nota Baloi, have come out to defend DJ Spoo, claiming that artists such as Zahara mismanage their money and get themselves involved with substance abuse and when the money runs dry because of their poor choices, will blame the likes of DJ Spoo instead of taking accountability for their actions. You are taken care of. Because at the end of the day, if you fall and you falter, people will blame me. If you end up like Zahara, people will blame me. In the same way they're blaming DJ Spoo, even though DJ Spoo did everything right. To his own disadvantage. And every single time, Zahara decides, you know, that, you know, she now wants to bring Spoo down. She brings up something and then, you know, it's a claim. Oh, Imaliga Zahara, what, 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 oh, and, and... Let me know what you think about the situation. Did DJ Spoo exploit Zahara? Or is Zahara to blame for signing an allegedly bad contract in the first place and then going on to mismanage her money? Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel.